This is Mr. Robinson, and this is your two minutes of math from September 15th, 2014. And today, in the seventh grade class, what we were focused on was how can we identify proportional relationships by using a constant number. And we did that by examining ratios and how they compare with one another. So, for example, let's take a look at the ratio 1 to 4 and see if it's a proportional relationship to the ratio 6 to 24. Now, if you remember from class, what we talked about was how Mr. Robinson always likes to take his 1 to 4 ratio and take it out of ratio form and put it into fractional form. So I'm going to do that right here. I'm going to drop it so it says 1 to 4 in fractional form. Now I'm going to compare that to 6 to 24, also written in fractional form. Now we said if things were going to be proportional, they have to share the same constant number, which would mean if the, I can multiply the denominator by a constant number to get the other denominator, and I can multiply the numerator by that same constant number to get the numerator over here. So in this case, let's look at my denominator first. And I would say 4 times 6 is equal to 24. So I'd write times 6 here. Okay? Now, if these are proportional, if I could take 1 times 6 and get that numerator, that would be sharing the same constant. These would be proportional. So let's test it. 1 times 6 here is equal to 6. Therefore, they share the same constant factor, and they are considered proportional. Proportional. Okay, let's look at another example real quick. Let's take a look at, we'll say, three sevenths, or we'll go three to seven compared to nine twenty-first. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing I did before. I'm just going to take it out of ratio form. So take three over seven. I'm going to compare it to nine over 21. The ratio form is written as fractions. Now I'm going to compare them. If they're going to be proportional, they're going to share the same constant number. So in here, it's going to be 7 times 3 is equal to 24, or 21 is equal to 21. So now I'm going to look at test and see if it works up top. And since 3 times 3 does equal 9, these two share a constant factor and they are considered proportional. Okay? Let's look at an example that doesn't necessarily work out. Let's take a look at 1 7th as compared to 1 to 7 compared to, we'll say, 3 to 28. Okay? First thing always, I take it out of my ratio form and I put it into fractional form so it's easier to check. So I'm going to just write it 1 to 7, and I'm going to compare 3 to 28. I like to start with my denominator. So in this case, I take 7 times 4 is equal to 28. Okay? Now I'm going to look up here and see if I can take my 1 times 4 to equal 3. However, 1 times 4 does not equal 3. It does not equal 3. Therefore, they do not share a constant factor, and they are non-proportional. Therefore, for two ratios to be considered proportional, we found that they had to share a constant factor, which would be whatever the denominator so multiplied by to equal out one another and the numerator. If they don't share that same con con constant factor, they are non-proportional. Okay, that's what we did in math class today. This has been your two minutes of math for September 15, 2014. Thank you.